The temperature lapse rate refers to the rate at which air temperature decreases with an increase in altitude. In simpler terms, as you go higher in the sky, the temperature generally drops. This concept is vital in aviation because it affects things like aircraft performance, weather patterns, and how pilots manage their flights. International standard atmosphere lapse rate under the ISA conditions, the temperature typically decreases at a rate of two degrees per thousand feet or 6.5 degrees Celsius per 1000 meters. This rate is considered standard and is used as a baseline in aviation. When pilots plan their flights, they often compare the actual temperatures they encounter with this standard lapse rate to assess how atmospheric conditions might affect their lapse rate. There's something called environmental or actual lapse rate. This is the actual lapse rate at which temperature decreases with altitude in the real atmosphere. It can vary depending on weather conditions, time of day, and location. In some situations, the temperature might decrease faster or slower than the standard lapse rate, or it might even increase with altitude, a condition known as a temperature inversion. There's also something known as an adiabatic lapse rate. Dry adiabatic lapse rates, or DALR, or DALR, this is the rate at which dry air cools as it rises, which is about three degrees per thousand feet, or 10 degrees Celsius per thousand meters. This applies when the air is not saturated with moisture, i.e. when there's no condensation occurring. There's also something called a moist adiabatic lapse rate or MALR. When air is saturated with moisture, it cools at a slower rate as it rises, typically 1.5 degrees Celsius to 3 degrees Celsius per thousand feet, depending on the moisture content. This slower rate occurs because condensation releases latent heat, which partially offsets the cooling. Why does this matter in aviation? Understanding the lapse rate is crucial for several reasons. For example, aircraft performance. As temperature decreases with altitude, air density also changes, affecting the engine performance, lift, and fuel efficiency. It's also important for weather forecasting. The lapse rate helps meteorologists predict cloud formation, thunderstorms, and other weather phenomena. Pilots need to be aware of the lapse rate to avoid conditions like icing or turbulence, which can be more prevalent in certain lapse rate scenarios. Things to remember. Standard temperature lapse rate is 2 degrees per thousand feet. Dry adiabatic lapse rate is 3 degrees per thousand feet. Moist adiabatic lapse rate is less at 1.5 degrees Celsius per thousand feet. So the next time you're flying, just remember that as you climb things are going to get a bit cooler, unless of course you hit a temperature inversion, but that's a topic for another day. And as always, like and subscribe. If you want to learn more about the ins and outs of helicopters, my courses are designed just for you. Find them in the description below. And until next time.